know, all the faculty trying to deter you from receiving your education. You're supposed to, you're supposed to be taught how to think, right? The, the faculty here should be teaching you how to think, right? They, they shouldn't be trying to shut down ideas. That's why we have a constitution. That's why we have free speech. I'm trying to encourage you to think for yourself, not just do what you're told. Like one, it's a gospel track. Like gospel track. This is what we do to children every day in America. Thousands of babies are being murdered right here in this country. Children are being mass murdered in the Chicago area throughout the country. But higher education and the media are not going to tell you that. That's why I'm here. There is a media blackout about babies being murdered by the thousands every day. That's why you see it on the sign. This is what we do to children every single day in this country. Thousands of times. This is our American Holocaust. The Holocaust did not just happen in Nazi Germany. We have a Holocaust right here. Where parents take their children to Planned Parenthood and other murder mills to have their children slaughtered. In the name of choice. In the name of convenience. People say they're pro-choice. What is pro-choice? Pro-choice is pro-murder. Those who say they're pro-choice, they really should say, I'm pro-murder. Pro-murder of a helpless human being, a baby. That's what you see. Does this look like, look like a clump of cells to any one of you? Does this look like a clump of cells or a blob of tissue to any of you? I doubt it. That's because this is a human being and everybody knows it. Every single day we slaughter the image of God in America. And we call it reproductive freedom. But God's law says you shall not murder. The law of God says you shall not murder. The sixth commandment written on your heart, written on my heart. But we have violated God's law in this country. We have violated God's law in, in, in this nation. That's why our nation is in chaos. The Bible says that what a man sows, this he will also reap. And we have sown bloodshed in the womb by murdering babies, and we have reaped bloodshed outside the womb. That's why you see so much violence in the streets. That's why there was so much violence in the streets this past year. Violence against the police, because violence in the womb begets violence outside the womb. I used to be in your shoes. I want you to know that. I grew up in the public school system. I used to be in high school, but there was never a single Christian who, who ever did this for me. There's never a single Christian who ever gave me the gospel, who ever showed me that I was living in the midst of a holocaust, where babies were being murdered every day. That's what I'm doing for you, loving my neighbor as myself. That's what Jesus said. The Lord Jesus Christ said to love God and to love your neighbor as yourself. How can we love our neighbor when we know that babies are being murdered and we do nothing about it? How many of you support doing this to children? How many of you support murdering babies? I know some of you, may, may, maybe many of you do. That's why you need to see it. You need, you need to come into, you need to see what you support. But the fact is here in America, most people do nothing about mass murder happening in the womb. There are riots and people take to the streets over mass murder or murder even of one person. But thousands of babies are murdered every day and who takes to the streets over that? We have declared war on the child in the womb. Yes, slavery may, not, may no longer be legal in America, but guess what is? It's cold-blooded murder of a child in the womb. I encourage you, if you're pregnant, if you're considering murdering your baby, don't. Come talk to me. If you're, if you're sincere, come talk to me. There's never any reason to sin against God. There's never any reason to violate the holy law of God. And we all have, you have and I have, the law of God written on your heart. It's called the Ten Commandments, your conscience. We all have knowledge of right from wrong, good from evil. That's a gift from God, your, your conscience, the Ten Commandments. That's how you know that this is wrong, that this is evil, that this is sin. I don't have to tell you that this is sin, that this is evil, that this is murder. You already know it. But I'm going to show it to you because a picture, a picture speaks a thousand words. A picture speaks what, a, what no words can speak. I know this is horrifying what I'm showing you, but this happens in Chicago. This is going to happen in Chicago tomorrow morning. And most people will do nothing about it. That's why I'm here doing something about it. 
Well, you're, will the faculty here, will the teachers teach you about this? I seriously doubt it. My school's never did. And you see what the faculty are doing? They don't want you to see the truth. I'm going to show it to you. They don't want you to see it. Maybe it's because they murdered their own babies, but you need to see it. You won't see this on CNN. You won't see this on Fox News anywhere on TV. So I am so I'm bypassing the media blackout to show you. Hopefully some of you are so horrified by this, but that you'll never murder your baby. That you have, a, if you have a friend or a family member that would murder their baby, that you would talk to them not to. But the most important issue is where will you spend eternity? Heaven or hell? The Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. The Lord Jesus said when he began his earthly ministry, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Have you done that? Have you repented and believed in the gospel? Folks, you're all young. All you students are young. But consider that you may not live to see this coming Monday, the next school day. The Bible says, for it is appointed once for man to die and after that the judgment. We're all going to die one day. We're all going to stand before a holy, just, and righteous God. And pro I'm guessing most of you think you're good. I thought I was good before God saved me. And then I read the Bible and I realized how wrong I was. Well, the Bible says that no one is good, no, not one. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. If you have a Bible at your house, I encourage you to read it. Feel free to come talk to me. Don't let the faculty di discourage you from open dialogue, free thinking. We're in America. We don't just dismiss ideas and make us uncomfortable. That's why we have America. That's why countless soldiers fought, blood and died, sacrificed their lives to, to protect free thinking in this country, to protect free speech. Our freedoms are liberties. And then you have faculty that opposes it. You have faculty here that opposes free thinking. You have faculty that opposes your right, your ability to think for yourself, to think outside the box. You have one guy show up with some information and they want to block it out. Ask yourself why that is. Ask yourself why that is. I'm not dangerous, but they're, they're trying to teach you that I am dangerous. Well, what is dangerous is to be taught that there is no God, that we all just came from stardust, you can't stand here at all. You cannot obstruct. I'm not, 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 you don't like one? It's a gospel check. Free thinking. Free thinking. Something to think about. Something to read. This is what we do to children every day in the womb. You ever seen an image like that before? Huh? You ever seen anything like that before? A what? Have you ever seen a murdered baby before? A little I child? Just got School bowl. Well, you're I brought. Me a dead -ass well, baby. I brought. I brought. I just got out of school and you're trying me, showing me a baby. You went from that school to you this school. You are a man. Can you get an abortion? No. Do you have a vagina? No. Do you have that a sounds, reproductive system? No. So why do you sexist. even do that? Because this is a man's issue. You sound pretty sexist. Do you see this What's shit? What's that? Yeah, you I do. Our definition of sexist. You see this? You're discriminating me because I'm a, I'm a man. You're That's not discriminating I'm shit. Sure. You're acting like a fucking. Pussy. Why do you support baby murder? Standing in front of a fucking high school. You are a grown ass man, and you're standing in front of. Yeah, for a reason, ma'am. If you've murdered a baby, come to Jesus Christ, ma'am. Many of you are thinking, why is there a guy out here with a sign of a murdered baby? Well, maybe it's because we murder babies in this country and nobody cares. And you have people. You I'm not obstructing anybody, officer. Right please, please respect my free speech. I'm not, I haven't told you to leave. I said you can't obstruct the sidewalk. I'm not obstructing block. anybody, sir. You can see that. Please, 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 please let me be. Please let me be. Just take one. It tells you how to go to heaven and have your sins forgiven. Please, please think about where you're going to spend eternity, folks. I care about your soul. That's why I'm here.